Hello coders, in this video I am going to explain you lock and i lock with boolean array. Here I am going to use this data frame that you can find in the description below. So now let I execute this. Now lock access a group of rows and columns by label or labels or a boolean array. So I already covered how to access group of rows and columns by labels and by integer positions in my previous videos. So now in this video I am going to explain you how to access group of rows and columns using boolean array. So now here you can see our data frame. Please remember boolean array size must be the same as your data frame size. Please remember this statement. The boolean array size must be the same as your data frame size. So here you can see our data frame size. So here our data frame you can see shape. 5 rows and 3 columns. Now you can see, let me display our data frame. Having the 5 rows, student 1, student 2, student 3, student 4 and student 5. 5 rows, name, marks and grades, 3 columns. So, boolean array size must be the same as your data frame size. Please remember, this concept is very useful in filtering the data frame that I am going to cover in the next video. So, boolean list with the same length as a row axis. Let I explain you this first. Now you can see, this is the syntax of i lock or lock number of rows you want and number of columns that you want now here you can see df1.lock here i am just passing the list of boolean values without any comma that you can see then by default it consider as a row axis so boolean list with the same length as row axis means that here 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 boolean values why because we have a 5 rows so if you are not passing rows and the column values but only if you are directly passing this list of boolean values then it considered as a row axis. Now if I execute this then you can see it will print nothing. So you can consider these values as a flag bits. So all the flags are currently off so it will print nothing. Now suppose if I want first row that you can see if I make it true then it will display first row. I want first and third row then you have to make it third flag on that you can see over here now also I want the last row that you can see over here I have to make this flag on but the main thing is boolean array size must be the same as your data frame size now next so just to revise boolean array size must be the same as your data frame size so boolean list with the same length as the row axis and the column axis. Now here you can see again the syntax. Number of rows you want and number of columns you want. Now in this data frame I have created two lists of boolean values. So first four rows so it contains five values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 because in our data set we have five rows and three columns. So here is 3, 1, 2 and 3 because we are having three columns name marks and grades so please remember boolean array size must be the same as your data frame size if you want to pass row and columns now you can see over here now let me solve some of the example to clear boolean array so we want name of student 1 and student 2 so now that you can directly use this array over here and we have to make flag on or off as per our requirement. So we want name of student 1 and student 2. So we want the name which is column 1. So we have to make this one as a true that you can see over here name student 1 and student 2. So we have to make these two flags on means false to true that you can see the name of student 1 and student 2. Now again let I paste again I paste this lock so now we want now let I first display our data frame df1 now grade of student 1 and student 5 we require this grade so I have to make this third flag to on to true you can see grades of student 1 and student 5 so I want to make this on and student 5 means last to true that you can see over here student 1 and student 5. Now again I paste this ilock syntax. 
now what i want marks of student 4 now let i show you our data frame first df1 so marks of student 4 so marks which is the second one so i have to make this flag on now you can see the marks of student 4 so 1 2 3 and 4 so i have to make this flag from false to true that you can see over here same we can perform with the i lock so you can change this lock to i lock so in boolean array there is no any change that you can observe if you are using the lock or i lock that you can see over here i lock so this logic is very important in the conditional selection or the filtering the data frame that i am going to explain you in the next video if you have any doubt regarding boolean array then please write in the comment section i will try to solve it thank you thank you for watching